in this video we are going to discuss about creating subnets so before creating subnets what are the three important things we have to keep in our mind so the three things would be total number of subnets that that we need and total number of hosts per subnet we need an available network and subnet mask so which will be submitted in future so that we need all these three things with us so for this one what are the answers the armed answers which we will be working on it and what we will be getting as an output you see subnet masks that used to be network across the network will be coming out and valid subnets will be we will be discussing about the valid subnet and also network address for each subnet broadcast address for each subnet and also valid host addresses in the each subnet so how these are categorized based on the networks so you can see here we will take a simple example of eight networks we require eight networks with 30 hosts so with one class c network is available with us that is 192.168.10.0 with the subnet mask value of 255.255.255.0 which is available with us so what is the requirement the requirement of eight networks with 30 host in it so it has to be subnetted so what is the c uh, the class c network available with us this is the class c network so what we have to do we have to separate the host component and network component so coming to the host component so the to find the component so that we have we have a formula called 2h minus 2 so 2h minus 2 is nothing but the 2 power of 2 so 2h minus 2 gives you the host number and what is the network we require we need 8 networks so that by adding these both the class c network will be segregated so in our in our example you can see 8 bit of host address available is this address which is given as a class c address so here the valid subnets so what is the valid subnet here the valid subnet detect the interesting octet value from 256 so here it will detect the subnet value from the 256 host available on the octet so interesting octets are those octets that have host bits so the host bits wherever they are available so they are called valid subnets so that we we get the requirement of 8 networks and 30 host in each network so you can see here in case the fourth is the interesting octet so that the deducting of 224 from 256 gives you 32 so here out of 256 we deduct 224 because the valid subnets actually what we spoke about has only the host bits here so we get 32 so how these networks are segregated so you can see here how these networks are segregated from 0 to 31 are 32 in number again from 32 to 63 are 32 in number so this way the requirement has fulfilled here how the requirement is fulfilled here so we divide the c class c network given to us into eight networks which each one having 30 host you can see here these are the eight networks which have which we have divided the class c network and it has 30 hosts in it you see here 0 to 31 is 32 host we have the same way 32 to 30 63 we have 32 so here 30 30 30 host each per eight networks so that this is classified here so this is how the subnets are created so how the host and how how the network component are segregated and afterwards how the networks are created and in the network how the hosts are placed so you can see what is the broadcast address of each subnet so the broadcast address is the last address of a subnet so the last address you can see after this one 192.168.10.256 would be the broadcast address for this network so this, this this is all about creating subnets and you can see here network address is given and the broadcast address is given these are the reserved addresses so this is how the creating of subnet works here